have another prototype here. This one is to redefine the shooting. I kind of stopped, stepped away from the spin and from the joystick movement and all the other fancy gesture stuff that I was looking at, and now just purely looking at shooting and trying to make it more crisp and clean. Um, like I said, I removed the joystick from the bottom corner. Uh, we're probably going to go towards the motion of um, keeping the screen static, so not being able to walk around the court and using more of a puzzle layout instead of being able to walk around and be able to aim wherever you want. Um, the cube in the bottom right has been removed as well. Um, and as you can see, now I've got get that back. And now I've got a uh, transparent ball where the actual ball will spawn from. Um, n also note that when I swipe my finger right away, it doesn't look like it did before. If you do want to look, you have to hold it for a couple seconds. Actually, I think it's like a half a second is what I have it coded at, and then you can swipe. Um, not sure if we're going to keep the looking or not, but just for the moment, if you accidentally touch the screen, it won't move. So you do have to hold it and then move. Now for the shooting, it is a little bit different, more defined um, to help the user be able to make the shots. I've, I've sort of uh, made it a little bit more simple. What I'm doing is, if you see this icon in the middle, I'm shooting a ray forward. And if I hit any sort of collider, which in this case it would be the hoop, that would tell me how far away I am from the hoop. And then I use that value to judge the speed of my finger swipe to go how far. So that way, if I know the if the guy is 10 feet away, I will range the speed of my finger swipe to that 10 feet. So that way, if you go really fast, it'll go a lot further than the hoop. If you go really slow, it'll just go a little bit in front of the hoop. So let's see, go slow, a little bit in front of the hoop, and really fast, just over the hoop. And if you go just right, you'll be able to make the shot. So that way, you can aim for different items in the actual level, and you can still reasonably hit the object depending on the speed of your swipe. This also works for uh, directions of your finger. So if I slide my finger to the left, it will actually shoot the ball in the direction that I swiped my finger. So as you can see, it goes that way. If I slide it, it goes that way, etc. Now as you notice, you see the power changes depending on how I'm swiping it. Um, actually, the ray will be shooting in the finger direction. So like, if I actually swipe my finger you know, in this general area, so let me go back. If I swipe my finger in that area, imagine that red cuticle pointing over here, and it actually the object it's going to hit is the wall. And the wall's further away, so that means I'm going to apply more power to the ball to be able to hit that wall where that red cuticle was aiming. This is um, that way. If I have like a I don't know an obstacle back there, and I want to be able to hit it, that way you'll be able to give it enough power and aim at that area. So just imagine wherever you swipe your finger, uh, whatever object you plan on hitting, that depth will be taken account for how much power to add to the ball. And this also works for when you aim up. This red cuticle will be shooting a ray. So wherever you are looking on that uh, Y horizontal line. That's the guy that defines the depth of where you're shooting. I'm um, not sure how much more I'm going to add to it right now. This seems pretty stable, and the shooting is a lot more easier to do. I think right about now I'm going to start adding in more obstacles and playing with the level and see what else we can do with this. That's it for now.